Hello everyone. In this video, we'll see how to pass command line arguments to Python script. This will help you to customize your input without modifying the code. I'll be using this particular script for demonstrating the command line argument functionality. This is a very simple script which initiates SSH to this code device using Netmico library and executing a show command. You can see here I have hard coded this particular show command. We will convert this into command line argument. In addition to that, we will take even the file name as an input from user with the device name. Here we have two files lab1.json and lab2.json. Here I have added some device details. We will take this also as a command line argument. For example, if you want to run this on the lab1.json file r1 so we should be able to run using python three space the file name file name is cisco underscore send command then we can give the inventory file name so we will use hyphen f and lab1.json then the device name r1 so hyphen d r1 then hyphen c the command for example here we'll give show version since we have space inside command we can give it in quotes so we'll try to achieve that so now if you want to run it on r2 you can just change this and if you want to run it on r2 in lab2 we just need to change the file name So this will help you to customize your input without editing the code. So here first we need to introduce the logic to read this file. So let us start writing the script. Here I'll use with open. Then first we'll use the hard coded file name with open file name. As data then we'll read the content so I'll store that into the device credentials red equal to so we need to use JSON since this is JSON file we need to import JSON so import JSON JSON dot load and dev. We'll try printing this data. Print red, and I'll comment all the other logics. Now we'll try to run this script. I'm already into the virtual environment, so I'll give. Python 3 and Cisco and command and here you can see all the device dictionaries which is there in lab 1.json so this contains the host username password details but to connect to the device we need even device type and port number so later what we'll do we'll try to get the respective device details and merge that dictionary with this particular device dictionary so let me uncomment this now without any device input we'll try to connect to 0.61 we can even comment file reading logic. We don't need even this. So this is connecting to 0 0.61 and executing show version command. Now 
we will read this content and we'll uncomment even post input we'll try to print the particular key r1 we are giving r1 as host input here so we can give host input so let us try running this still this let me go is connecting using this particular dictionary but we can see the r1 details host username and password so that is coming from here now what we can do instead of adding the device details from this i'll comment this and we'll try to add the values from this particular dictionary for that device dot update and we can give this particular dictionary now we'll try running this now we are passing r1 so here we'll be reading the file and passing the host input okay, now this is getting connected to r1 the device ip is 61 now if we want to connect to R2, we can give R2 here. And this is getting connected to 62 from the lab1 file. Now we'll first take file name as a command line argument. For that, we can use the library called arc parse. I'll import that. Import arc parse. And this is the documentation of arc parse. By default, this is available. So, this module makes it easy to write user friendly command line interface. And by default, even this gives help and other options. You can see here automatically generates the help usage messages and let's see this so first we need to use this particular argument argument parse first we need to create a parser object so let us create a parser object call this parser equal to arg parse dot argument parser we have multiple options here you can see the program name if you use prog we can pass the program name then we can give the usage description you can just give description and give some description for the program then you want to enable help the default value you can see is enabled and here also you will be able to see the data you can go through this documentation we'll be looking into a very basic example so we will use the default here then we need to add the argument parser dot add argument and in the documentation you see add argument method here also we have multiple options like you can give name the flags then the type of input 
then if you want to make it as a mandatory value you can give required true then you can add the help details for the input first we'll add file input argument if you want to read the file you can even add type as object here for this example we are going to take this as a string input and we will manually open and read the file so let us start writing the script here we will use option hyphen f or hyphen hyphen file for the input then we will give type equal to string then this is going to be mandatory input so we will give required to comma l json inventory after that we need to create arcs equal to parser dot parser arcs and we need to map the variable so here earlier we were hard coding the value we can comment this and here file name equal to arcs dot file so this data we can give arcs dot file and let us try running this script now if you try running so we'll be getting an error the following arguments are required we have given required true here so if i give hyphen h so it is showing the message json inventory file and by default within this arc parser help is enabled we have seen that in the documentation now we'll try giving the file you can either give hyphen f and lab one dot json so it is connecting to the ip 62 because host input is r2 so if we try giving lab R2 63. So it is connecting to 63. 63 is not reachable. We are getting NetMiko exception. I haven't handled any of those exceptions. This is just to demonstrate how to pass argument. We will try to pass some more arguments like the command, then the device details. I will copy paste the code here so here to add the device the host input we can give hyphen d or hyphen hyphen device that is also going to be mandatory input so we'll give the help device name for command also we are giving required true if you see the port number type is integer and i have given a default value for type you see the documentation add argument method so you have an option called default this will take the default value if it is absent we are taking that as well so let us map that to the variable so we have already added file name now for post input arcs dot device you can comment this then command equal to 
snarks dot command then port equal to snarks dot port now even we need to give port here because it is not coming from the inventory json file we'll give port here and this even can be the yaml file previously i have created a video on how to read the yaml file you can even convert this into yaml inventory file now we'll try running this So now we are getting the error saying that device and command is mandatory. So we are reading lab2, then hyphen d, I will give r1, then hyphen c, so version, and we will try running it. So now this is connecting to Sixty-one in the sorry sixty-two in lab two because if you see this particular file R one is sixty-two now if you want to run it on lab one and if you want to change the command. So this will be helpful if you want to run multiple commands or if you want to change the devices you can change it easily then going and updating the script now if you want to check this port number input you can give hyphen p space 23 script will fail it is a parameter exception so we don't have any exception hand handled here now if i change this to 22 and this port input is not mandatory within the device dictionary by default netmiko is taking 22 as the port even if you don't give this will work but for the learning purpose i just added this I hope this video was helpful for you to understand how to use arc parser for passing command line arguments within python script. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.